So this is how the Borg started. Transcendence. So Transcendence is a movie starring Johnny Depp. It's directed by one of Christopher Nolan's cinematographers. And it's written by a guy who wrote that one movie, Transcendence. Seriously, that's it. That's all he wrote. And Johnny Depp plays one of many people that are trying to make an AI. Artificial intelligence, but there's this group. They're like, nah, analog's awesome. Bring back MySpace. And they shoot Johnny Depp. And his wife's like, oh, before he dies, we can upload his consciousness onto a computer. Because ultimately, electrical signals and shit. And we all saw hackers in the 90s, so we buy that. And now Johnny Depp is Max Head. Room. Only thing is, right after Johnny Depp becomes this computer, he's like, Hey, can you plug me into Wall Street, bank accounts, internet? I just need more power. Red flags start going up, so Paul Bettany's like, It's not good. And his wife's like, Yeah, it is. So it's this whole thing where it's like, oh, Is Johnny Depp gonna be an asshole now? He's a supercomputer. The odds are, yes, he is. Which is a sweet concept. Even in the movie, it had sweet parts. I mean, it being directed by a cinematographer, you look at it, you're like, Oh, that's nice. That looks neat. The problem is, when they go to Podunk Nowhere, Seriously, they go to this town that's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's the sheriff of this town kind of thing. The movie slows down. And if a movie like this is gonna put on the brakes for you to have thought-provoking moments and be like, oh, okay, stuff's not really happening, but it leaves you time to contemplate. That'd be one thing, but no, it's ultimately, it's like Johnny Depp is making these people better with nanobots, and then other people are like, oh, he's going too far, we gotta put a stop to him. They create this convoluted plan that is fine until you leave the movie theater and you're like, no. No, that doesn't make any sense. Ultimately, the movie becomes a mess after the movie looked like it was gonna be awesome. The movie spans a couple years. It didn't feel like it needed to span a couple years. Just one more thing to gripe about right now. The movie had entertaining parts and it does leave you with that, oh, that was interesting, hmm, let's think about it. Which you can tell the movie wants you to contemplate it after you leave the movie theater, but when you do, you just start picking the movie apart. Which isn't good. It's like the movie wanting you to think about the movie is actually working against the movie. It'd be better if the movie was like, here, cut and dry, nothing to think about. But it's Instead, you're like, oh, let's think about that. Yeah, that, well, that was interesting. It started out good and, well, wait a minute. That doesn't really make sense. Wait, that, that doesn't make sense. And then you just start picking the thing apart until there's nothing left. You just dissect the shit out of it. You can tell this movie wanted you to feel like, it's like, oh shit, the AI's gonna take over. It's like the beginning of the Terminator future war. But ultimately, it turns out to be the beginning of the Terminator war if it was a Cold War. I enjoyed parts of it enough, but I would never elect to watch the movie again. Which means, ultimately and disappointingly, Transcendence would be a good time if you're drunk. Yes, now it is a party. These are all fresh new new people doing this movie. It's like a first time director and a first time writer. This is like that dare to be great situation that wasn't that great. Alright, so what is the coolest AI robot ever? That is a lot of sci-fi to cover my friends. Whichever robot holds closest to your heart, whoever he is, whoever she is, comment below, let me know. That's right, robots have genders now apparently. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.